Do you know that the Monetary Authority of Singapore, MAS, has launched Project Guardian, a collaborative initiative aimed at examining the economic potential and value-adding use cases of asset tokenization. While managing risk to financial stability and integrity, Project Guardian will test the feasibility of asset tokenization and DeFi applications. But before we get into the details, I would like to welcome you guys back in another video of our YouTube channel TechHUB where you will be always getting your daily dose of crypto news and entertainment. It is also important to note that I am not a financial advisor and everything in this video is not financial advice. So without any delay, let's start the video with the introduction of Guardian. Guardian is the Wolf Den ecosystem's second currency, designed to act as a treasury asset and macro belief. It was created to serve as a store of value and a primary asset for long-term accumulation. And since you are probably wondering what Wolf Den ecosystem is, let's go over that now. The tiered community was known as the Wolf Den is built around educating people on how to navigate to fee safely and different ways of thinking about investing. Even though the Wolf Den is built on the blockchain, the value of these tiers extends far beyond cryptocurrency. For more information, see Wolf Ammonials or the Wolf Den tier system. The Wolf Den's second prong is working directly with projects, organizations, and individuals who want to make a positive difference in the real world. This includes everything from NFT and token launches on the blockchain to real-world retreats, foundations, and masterminds. Now I hope you guys are clear about the Wolf Den ecosystem, so let's again get back to the topic and in detail about what Guardian is and what will it offer. As a result, the Guardian project aims to develop asset tokenization use cases in a variety of sectors, such as open, interoperable networks and DeFi protocols that institutions can use. Its pilot scheme will look at how DeFi can be used in wholesale funding markets through tokenized bonds and deposit liquidity pools. During the Asia TechX, Singapore Summit, Hang Sui Kee, the Deputy Prime Minister and Coordinating Minister for Economic Policies, announced the initiative. As previously stated, Project Guardian is an MAS initiative aimed at determining how DeFi applications can improve the borrowing and lending process while reducing risk factors. Mr. Hang Sui Kee, Singapore's Deputy Prime Minister and Coordinating Minister for Economic Policies announced the project at the Asia Tech X Singapore Summit on Tuesday. Further, as part of the initiative, MAS has teamed up with JP Morgan Chase to test a blockchain project that will look into the potential of DeFi in the wholesale funding market. Experts believe the MAS is working on this project because word on the blockchain is that Singapore's strict regulations are driving crypto business away, particularly to Dubai which is more crypto-friendly. The MAS has enlisted the help of DBS, a Singaporean multinational bank, and Markinode, a local digital asset issuance startup, to co-lead the project. These three major financial institutions will now collaborate to create a permission liquidity pool comprised of tokenized bonds and deposits. The pilot's goal is to conduct secured borrowing and lending on a public blockchain-based network through smart contract execution. Now, in terms of their main areas of interest, we can say that, in addition to evaluating the feasibility of institutional grade DeFi protocols, Project Guardian will develop and implement use cases in three other areas. It will first look at how public blockchains can be used to create open, interoperable networks that enable digital assets to be traded across platforms and liquidity pools. Second, the project will investigate the use of independent trust anchors to create a trusted environment in which DeFi protocols can be executed. Regulated financial institutions serve as trust anchors, screening, verifying, and authenticating entities interested in using DeFi protocols. And the third thing is that the Guardian project will investigate the use of public blockchain for tokenized deposits issued by deposit-taking institutions. So I hope now it is clear to you about what the project will bring and what will be the impact in the end. Let's discuss a little tokenomics of the Guardian project's token dollar guard. Guard is a total supply of 50 million coins, with no lending function to add to the supply. Over 89% of that supply is locked up in farms, raids, or lockers, indicating that a large number of holders have no plans to sell shortly. Furthermore, in the base case, Guard's primary pair is bust, which decouples it from the macro market. A significant amount of downside is domesticated by keeping half of the principal in the stable pair. Furthermore, as a strong store of value, the Guard should be able to generate a small amount of yield at the very least. Finally, you could say that Dollar Guard is unique in its property because all of the Wolf Den ecosystem's taxes and profits will be dedicated to ensuring Dollar Guard's stability as a treasury asset. 
So that's the end of the video, but still, if you have any questions about anything related to Project Guardian and what it will bring so, as I always say, do mention it below in the comment box. And also let us know if you want us to make videos on all these coins to explain every detail about them. Now, if you have found the content helpful, then don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and do subscribe to our channel for weekly content like this. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video of Tech HUB. Until then, goodbye.